How do you feel if I say to cook pasta, first you need to boil water and finally you serve pasta? Uh, what about the steps in between? What happened? Hi there and thank you for submitting your essay for assessment at IELTS Juice. Let's start uh, analyzing the rubric and we move on to the response. And after that, we will check the band descriptors for the elements of assessment. So let's begin. The rubric here says, new forms of money are becoming extremely popular nowadays. Uh, some important elements, let me just focus here. There you go. New forms, plural, of money are becoming extremely popular nowadays. So there is a sharp trend that many people are jumping on. And then we have a one line question. Is this a positive development or adding risk to the system? Is this a positive development or is this adding risks to the system? That's the question. Basically, is it a positive trend or a negative trend? And uh, it deliberately mentions risk. And then we move on. Should new money technology face greater regulation and security? Now we have risks. And we also say, should there be greater regulations? They are giving us a question with some hints. And uh, we get to decide what and how to formulate our response. So it's up to us to structure our essays. This is good and bad news. If you're familiar with the topic, you can talk more. If you're not familiar with the topic, you might be somewhat limited, but let's uh, look at the response and see how we can address it. From my perspective, the elements uh, which are important is that there are, there are forms, plural, of money, and then it's extremely popular, meaning there's a sharp trend. Nowadays, of course, it's a modern phenomenon. And then we have a question that we, that there are, uh, which has some elements and we need to see how many of these elements we can address in our response. Let's look at the response. So it says, these days, technological advancements have revolutionized financial transactions by introducing newly emerged types, this is plural, of currency. So it's not a type of currency, there are types of currency. And looking at the rubric, we need to get rid of a, because forms, now you changed it into types. Some argue that this tech-based money should be further mon monitored and regulated. That's a very good sentence. I am of the opinion that introducing this sort of monetary concept, good vocabulary, would be a positive outcome for society. Again, excellent. You, I mean, this is a very good sentence. Society is used correctly here. In addition, responsible authorities and governments should apply more restricted, secure protocols and real-time monitoring to maximize its effectiveness and avoid data manipulation by unauthorized access. Very long, yet very effective introduction. I am genu genuinely in love with the introduction. It uh, touches on the elements that I really wanted to see. I see security protocols, restrictions, meaning regulations, uh, authorities instead of governments. We also see that there are types of money, monetary concepts. All these words and, par and paraphrased collocations are very effective. This is a satisfactory introduction to me. Let's move on to the first body paragraph. Uh, one thing, I still don't know what to expect in the body paragraphs. I understood two sentences. I assume, I, I'm not sure how the two, the other two body paragraphs will look like, but that's, that's what uh, the thought that is going in my head right now. Let's move on and see how it goes. To begin with, 
Electronic currencies will reduce the control and monitoring of traditional banks and governments over people's financial assets. Okay, so we, we believe this is a positive thing and by reducing the control, reducing the control is a positive, we're, we're, we're selling it as a positive outcome. Because of decentralized data transfer authority, authorization in the new money scheme scheme has a negative connotation but transferred assets are hard to track yes they are not trackable they are hard to track it's really hard to track it's yeah that's that's much better by governments and banks providing more freedom for citizens another short uh, or reduced relative clause I love that. Therefore, it will be difficult for governors. Uh, I don't know why we say the governors. We, we, the, the is which governors? Who? We are generalizing. We are saying banks. We are not limiting ourselves to certain banks, Western banks, American banks. No, we're saying banks. To put pressure on people by imposing rigorous tax measures. A little jumpy from one idea to another idea. We are now introducing tax measures and they're rigorous without proper concept. So not incorrect, but this will affect our coherence and cohesion. So it is no longer eight in coherence and cohesion. Our score is this is due to the lack of feedback and information that they retrieve from traditional transactions by clients. Everything is generalized. We are overgeneralizing. We need an example. Let's see. For example, in 2011, the U.S. government reported that they lost the ability to track 25% of finances that had been transferred since the cryptocurrency was introduced. Cryptocurrency is all one word. Crypto is a prefix. Prefixes do not stand alone. You know, for example, when you say uh, decentralized, you do not say de, then, then there's a gap and centralized. Decentralized is all one word because de is a prefix. And the other one is that we are talking past perfect because since it was introduced until uh, which year 2011 we don't have any information until now so by 2011 the, in their report they said that from from sometime before 2011 something took place we have only two choices either we use past simple and we just look at it as history or we intentionally say past perfect just to talk about a range that happened in the past, in the past of another event in the past. And, in, and that's why we don't say present perfect, that it has nothing to do with now. We don't have any information. Since 2011 until now, there is no information. We don't know. That's why we need past perfect. All right. Uh, so that's, that's, uh, Good attempt, but not 100% there. I, I like the example. It happened in the right moment. We really needed one. We were just general. To, there, were, there, there were many sentences uh, generalizing governments, governors, banks, and, and we really needed some tangible examples. Lastly, governments should establish some policies for to transparently monitor okay and regulate money transactions by this new concept because of the lack of proper security measures and backup plans backup is an adjective so it's all one word backup plans in in this context by the way possible risks and threats of data loss or fraudulent transactions may occur good word therefore governments, we are generalizing again, can take initiatives to tackle security risks. We're generalizing again. So no de. Reference that we don't, why, why are we 
showing our audience a reference where we really don't want to show any references. It's gen generic. Any risk, all risks, all governments, not certain governments. In 2022, Nepal, another good example, was the first country to legislate Bitcoin. Again, Bitcoin is a proper noun. Your Bitcoin is not different than my Bitcoin. It's Bitcoin as its official currency with augmented security. Good word, augmented security. I, I, I love the structure. Another time, once again, we have a good uh, example. Uh, I, however, have one small question. Uh, this one is to begin with, and uh, we just started the process. And then the second one is lastly, how do you feel if I say to cook pasta, first you need to boil water, and finally you serve pasta? Uh, what about the steps in between? What happened? What happened to cooking the meat or preparing the sauce? Maybe we need to choose our discourse markers better. When we say to begin with, it feels as if there are two other steps. To sum up, although new types of currencies are associated with numerous safety risks, governments can mitigate security concerns, plural, generalized, we don't need the, by adopting strict regulation of the currency platforms so that people can easily transfer, maybe, maybe this day is also extra, can easily transfer money to each other. In addition, I believe such an advancement in the banking industry will reduce the power and control of governments and banks over people's financial assets, giving people more freedom. 326 words. We try to touch on the concerns, but the organization of the essay is somehow not clear. Uh, in the end, I felt like, yes, generally we addressed the task, but the logic is a bit lacking. Let's move on to the band descriptors. That's exactly what I was talking about. The ideas, we arranged information, correct. The ideas are presented coherently. We had overall progression. It was clear. Overall, we answered the question, but uh, our response was not categorized very well. We had some organization, some, but it wasn't 100% accurate. And you understand that when your reader says, okay, I'm going to read, I understand what I'm going to read, but I don't know what happens in the next paragraph, what happens in the following paragraph. After that, I, I do not know what to expect. It's going to be a journey. It's challenging. It's, it's going to be adventurous. It's fun, but uh, it's better to be, it's, it's always better to be clear. We are not writing a novel here. And uh, clarity, step by step, control over your essay is important. As for other elements, I see attempts to use less common vocabulary, and there there is the, the majority of them were accu accurate, range adequate. I even uh, liked some vocabulary. I was pleased to see those words and collocations but it is still not that enough to get it to seven. When we say security, and we don't have any other words other than security. It's like we had one or two words for each part and we just mentioned them and that's it. That means adequate. You could increase the range by adding a little bit more words related or better collocations related to that. I saw them, this part is borderline seven, this one only, but we still need to work on our, our errors. So this is a long way to get seven. Vocabulary range is the easiest one to solve, but then accuracy and choosing the words accurately. Some of the, some of the 
discourse markers was rather maybe maybe mechanical. Let's let's if if we don't say faulty, they were certainly mechanical. We don't want we don't want like firstly, lastly, that element. Firstly, secondly, lastly. That's rather mechanical. But we can always modify those words. Uh, I like paragraphing, grammar. Yes, we we had some grammatical issues, really some grammar errors. They were effective. They reduced communication, but they did not confuse the reader. And as for task response, uh, we addressed all parts. We definitely ad addressed all parts. We also gave uh, examples. Very good, but they are not. Uh, that deep, we needed uh, a bit more development. And, but uh, again, I really loved the example part. That that was last minute save. But you know how what what it can how it can be better and what a better um, example would be is when you say something, you give you just make a claim, then you develop it by giving us some details and then you make an example and you do not just say one example all the way at the end of the paragraph just because i wanted to because somebody told you uh, examples are fun uh, we just say one example towards the end uh, every single idea that we present requires proper explanation and an example and this goes for every single item that we mention every single item if if one of them that we say doesn't receive proper development we lose score in task response even even if it's just one single item anyway on that note uh, i hope you have had excellent takeaways i hope from this assessment and i hope next time i'll be assessing your task twos or task ones with higher scores. Take care.